What do you do on tough mental days? Do you have or had a boyfriend? What to do if you're on your period at school? What to do if a boy's messing you around? Oh my word, what's your first period story? Do you ever struggle with body image? Do you have really clear skin? What do you use? Pads or tampons? How do you know when your period is about to start? How did you start getting into going to the gym? How do you deal with period pain? Best way to train your hair? I am currently speaking to someone. How to dump a boyfriend? Ooh. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, you join me very chill in my bedroom. It's literally 10 o'clock at night and you join me in my bedroom and I'm gonna be doing a girl talk video. This is so chill, like I'm literally just in my bed. I'm gonna talk about like everything, literally everything and anything. It's probably also gonna be quite TMI, so sorry. It honestly feels like I'm on FaceTime with you guys because this is just the most chill video I've actually ever filmed in my whole entire life. I asked you guys on my Instagram, I got quite a lot of different topics and everything to talk about so that was exactly what i'm gonna do if you do enjoy it please remember to like and subscribe pads or tampons personally i prefer tampons obviously it's everyone's personal preference but i just think they're better because you can't feel them and you forget that you're on your period for me at least to an extent where it's bad like i'll be leaving it in far too long like over double what you're supposed to literally it's bad what do you do on tough mental days i don't get them a lot but when i do it is quite hard to be honest i'm quite a generally happy person i'm not ever that emotional because i just have a it's not that deep mindset which is actually quite good because it means i don't really get sad much when i am feeling down because obviously i do feel down sometimes i just say i do anything everything to make myself feel amazing and like even if it's not even to do with like my self-confidence or anything i'll just make myself feel amazing like as good as i possibly can so either like put myself together and like look nice like do my makeup and do my hair nice and everything so i feel better myself or i literally i don't know put in a hair mask do my skincare get all productive, just do things, little things, like hair masks, skincare, face masks, all those type of little things, like listen to a chill out playlist, and they genuinely end up making me feel better. So you could try those out. What's your first period story? My first period story is literally the most boring thing ever. It was before I was going to bed, like literally just before I went to bed, I literally went to the toilet and there was my period. And that was it. I was actually quite a late starter because because basically I've seen like disease and I didn't know about it for a long time. So that meant that it like stunted my growth and everything because I wasn't getting all the nutrients and everything I needed to grow. So I was quite late compared to like a lot of my other friends and everything when I stopped my period. So therefore I already knew how to like use pads and tampons and everything. So it was actually quite easy. Whereas a lot of people who start like really young, I guess I'd be more new. Whereas it wasn't very new at all to me. Someone said, how do you know when your period is about to start? I have an app which is called Flow. Like literally so many people have the app. It's this one up here. And honestly it is the best thing in the world. I mean, as I said, I started my period quite late. So it's still very irregular so like it doesn't i'm not gonna lie it's never been perfect as in like when i'm coming on it on that day and stuff my friends and stuff who have this app as well theirs are really really exact which is just crazy and it does give me like a bit of something to go off of best way to train your hair so my hair i actually dyed it platinum blonde about six months ago now so my hair went pretty dead but i've been using olplex on my hair like two times a week and then also cheaper hair mask like once a week as well so i've been putting a lot of treatments on my hair and seriously it has got basically no split ends anymore it is so so soft and silky all the time and i also use a dyson air app which uses like hot air so that is also so much better for your hair if you're gonna like style it with heat actually i'd love to try some rosemary oil which people say is really really good for your hair but i've not yet tried that i also have these hair burst vitamins i'll show you them they look like this and basically you have two a day i need to have my second actually i don't know whether they work or not but if you are really wanting to like help your hair then i'd say it's better to try them than not try them i love this video it's so chill and chatty what to do if you're on your period at school don't even worry about that like seriously you can't actually do anything if you get what i mean like you're just on your period and at the end of the day unfortunately it's something which you've just got to deal with but in terms of if you have cramps and stuff which i get cramps but they're not actually like bad bad like to me yeah they're bad but like in relation to what i know some people's cramps can be like then mine really aren't bad but I literally just have some paracetamol or ibuprofen. I don't know how you say that word. And just always have stuff with you so you've got stuff. But even if you don't, like, your friends will have stuff. Or if they don't, you can ask any girl or a teacher. People will always have stuff as well that you can, like, use or something if you don't have anything with you. You have really clear skin. What do you use? Thank you. That is really kind. I mean, I don't know about how clear my skin is, but I guess it is 
pretty good. It used to be really quite bad actually. I had the most clear skin in the world up to like year 10 or something and then all of a sudden it just became really bad. Don't get me wrong there are some freckles there too but obviously it's not the best. That was probably one of the worst my skin's gone. Three days it went from that to completely gone which was crazy and I'll show you what I used. It's literally this and I got it from the doctors. This was the first thing they gave me and it worked miracles straight away. How to dump a boyfriend. Ooh. That is tricky because I think it completely depends how serious you and the boy are. Because if you guys have only been dating for like two weeks, it's not that big of a deal. But if you've been dating for like six months or a year, then obviously that's like a big deal. It depends what it is as well because if it's like he's cheated on you, then I'd say a completely different method to if you just don't like him. As I don't know the situation, I'll just go off if you don't like him. i say if you don't like him, literally genuinely tell him because otherwise you are just leading him on. i say if it's been like two weeks, then I'd yeah, definitely do it on text. If it has been six months or a year, I would say do it in person because then you can like talk to them. And it'll just, I think if you dump someone over text and it's been like six months, I think that is bad. Say like, it's not working out how you hoped it would. And right now in this current stage of your life, you'd like to be single. I think that's nice. Is it? Don't stay with someone if you genuinely aren't really into it because you're just wasting your time and his time at the end of the day. What to do if a boy's messing you around? Oh my word, literally dump him. Literally get him off. Like why? This is what I don't understand. Like, my friends will happily stay with a boy who is completely messing them around, but why are you doing that? Like, why are you doing that? I, th I find it crazy. Like, surely, I just don't get it. Like, if you know yourself that he's messing you around, and clearly you do because you've asked this question, leave him because you're worth so much more than that. You can get better. Then be single and go and get better. Why would you stay with someone that isn't being good to you? Like, you deserve someone to be good for you. Otherwise, you might as well just be single. So, what to do? Dump him. Literally just say, you're not worth my time, done. Because there's no point giving a really nice, I'm so sorry, because if he's messing you around, then he's being the dick. Let's be real. And also, if you're staying with him and he's messing you around, then that's like saying that what he's doing is okay, so he'll just carry on doing it and he'll think it's acceptable. So that means he'll only treat you worse or the same as how he's treating you now, which obviously isn't good because he's messing you around. Best brand for concealer. I use the MUA concealer. I think it is 100% the best, but it's very light coverage, but I prefer light coverage things. So if you prefer like a more full coverage one, then that really isn't the one. Is college worse or better than high school? Personally, I would say better, but high school does have its pros. Do you ever struggle with body image? 100%, like literally 100%. Yeah, absolutely, like all the time, literally all the time. Honestly, I'm not the type of person who like always tells people about my insecurities and stuff because I think if I tell someone my insecurity and then when they look at me, they'll see my insecurity. Realistically, most people's insecurities aren't things that people would actually see. You look at yourself all the time in the mirror, so you see it. So if I tell someone my insecurity, then I think like I'm just then putting it out there when they might not even have ever noticed it. But I absolutely struggle with body image. Yeah, that's just, that's, I think that's normal, unfortunately. I think that's like normal. Do you have or had a boyfriend? Right now when I'm filming this, I don't have a boyfriend, but I am actually filming this in advance, so <laughs> I'm sure I won't have a boyfriend on the places. I've never been official with a boy, but like I've been exclusive. I've had like long speaking stages. I am actually currently speaking to a lovely boy. Ooh, that was sounding so disgusting. Why did I say that? Um, no, yeah, I am currently speaking to someone, but my previous speaking stage lasted from, it was on and off from January to April, and then from May to September, it was quite on then i ended it in september because i'm not gonna lie i saw better options at college <laughs> that sounds awful but it is the truth it was a summer of a i'm joking no it was not the summer with him was actually very fun but we were never officially exclusive but either of us weren't really speaking to anyone else how do you deal with period pain like i said earlier i just take a paracetamol or ibrew perfume or if I'm at home, I'll make hot water bottle and that does actually help cramps to be fair. How did you start getting into going to the gym? So I have actually had a gym membership because I go to like a family 
gym if that makes sense i think i started that gym when i was about six it's probably like five or six did definitely help i've never had to go off my own back and go and get one but obviously i've not been into the gym my whole life oh also as i said it's like a family gym so i wasn't actually in the gym at six there's like a kids club so like my parents would go to the gym and i'd be in the kids club i was never ever into the gym actually i thought it was like a chore to go however at the very start of 2022 so literally like this time last year i was just like do you know what new year new me i'm gonna get really into the gym because i have fitness goals i was struggling with like body image and stuff actually a lot so i was just like i can achieve my goals like the things that i want to change about myself obviously not everything but like a lot of the things i can change physically if i just go to the gym so that's what i started doing i was very into going but throughout my whole gcse's i actually went to the gym so so much and kind of like crazily a lot for the fact that i was doing my gcs but that's because i had body goals and stuff which i wanted to hit before my prom because i wanted to and that really did motivate me because i was just thinking the whole time like i want to look a certain way in my prom dress so that definitely did motivate me so then throughout summer i definitely definitely slacked in a gym i went like once a week or something and then it's only been like december when i've got really back into it since but don't be wrong i'm not like massive bodybuilder or anything not at all but just i have like goals and stuff that is the end of today's video that is all the questions i'm gonna do if you'd like me to do another girl talk video then let me know because it's actually been so much fun but i've really liked this actually it's been really chatty and just chill yeah if you want me to do another video like this then let me know because i totally will totally why did i just say that but if i do do another video like this then i'm gonna once again ask on my instagram story for you guys to give me questions and topics so go and follow my instagram and yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please 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 remember to like and subscribe as it really really helps my channel grow and i'll see you guys in my brand new video next saturday bye